What's going on boys? Snow Guides here, welcome back to another video and in today's video we got a Meta 500 case. Now this is a special one because this is the exact team that I am using right now. So no complaints all around. Uh, fantastic team, I love it. Let's get this party started. Now first of all we're going to go with Keen. Now Keen was a card that I always looked at when the day he came out. Now not, we're talking about Robbie Keen here now. He hasn't got that 5 star weak foot but listen, this is a card that I was looking at simply because of his price um, he was actually very good his only striker has got four star four so a good agility and balance and sprint speed and physicality and that could shoot there's not a lot of him in the game but because of the the, 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 the recent price crash he went from 400k to 300 all the way down to 200k at 200k is an absolute steal there is no reason why you wouldn't get him and i had to get him straight away in the team and left wing do you know who's going in here you know who's going in? Have a, have a guess, chat. Like that, right down below. It's Ma. Of course, it's not Mane. It's Son. You thought I was going to say Mane for a second. Absolutely not. Son, class on the grass. Possibly top five best gold car attackers, par the the Mbappe's and Neymar's. The unobtainable for a lot of players, a lot of casual players anyway. Um, but Son, if you can't afford Mbappe, this is the second card that you go for. If you're on a budget, you need someone. He's what 50k now. If that, he's fifty. He's forty nine k now. I, I, unbelievable. This guy. I'm not. I don't know. Mad. I lost money. Honestly, one of the best cards in the game. I don't even need to even talk about him. Five star weak foot. Four star skill moves. Top tier finisher. I'm pretty sure you know that. Um, we're gonna put a hunter on both Keen. You can put an engine on Sun. People ask me about this, but on a winger maybe. But as a striker, you want to have the best possible finishing. And that is why we put a hunter on him. Now, going over to, in my opinion, the best set CDM in the game. And no, it's not Kante. It's on Yeka. Now, uh, that's the wrong person. On Yeka, I'll be honest, he's the player I've been looking for for many years. Um, this is so hard to find a center mid or a CDM that's got a good agility and balance. And he has that. Good stance, high, high work rate, six foot tall, got good agility, balance, strength, and aggression, and jumping. Absolutely perfect. Perfect down the middle, perfect at the CDM. Him with Kante together make actually a good combo, um, but by himself, he's a good card. And left back, um, I do play Cornet here, but just to reduce the price of the team. So I would say go Cornet, but just to reduce the price of the team, we can go ahead and put Roberts in here. Um, that's just one thing I wanted to mention. So. Um, we have one this striker, so who's the other striker you're going to be asking? Well, it could be Keane, um, but it's actually going to be someone else. You'll see that in a second. We're going to go with another winker here, and yes, we are going to go with Mane, the card that I originally mentioned. Um, the reason why Mane here is off chemistry, because there isn't a centre mid in the Premier League that's better than Mane for a winger. If you want, you, I'm going to say this again. If you want to use someone like Werner, then be my guest. Okay, be my guest. For those you want to get better in the game, use Werner. Um, don't use Werner. Don't use Lukaku. Use Mane. On seven chemistry, he's still better than these cards. Top tier, top tier sprint speed. Got the physical, got agility and balance, and he's got the finishing. One of the best wingers in the game. I only like to really choose the best of the best, the creme de la creme. And we're talking about creme de la creme. We're talking about one of the best price performance cards in the game. The cheap Neymar, as I like to call him. And that is Tegatito. I think that's how you say his name. Top tier player. Five star, five star, uh, the lacks the sprint speed, so you do need a hunter on him. Remember, you do need a hunter on him. But finishing, attack positioning, shot power. You probably got to put him on stay forward, but he's got the stamina, the aggression, the agility, the balance. One thing that Neymar doesn't really have is that aggression, but he has that. Good composure as well. Um, definitely one of the top tier cards in the game. If you've got under a 200k team, two players you should have is Son and Kuro, uh, Tecatito or Corona, whichever you want to call him. We've gone with a new card, um, Uribe, I think that's how you say his name. Um, what you probably want to do on this card is, is you probably want to put a shadow on him. Um, the sole reason is that he is a bit too slow. Now, I had Lorente here, now bear with me. I had Lorente here, but I was thinking, okay, how will this card do now? You see an anchor and all that, it's not good enough. Because the truth is, his pace is just too low. Look at his pace. His pace is just too low, 81 pace. You need to have someone who's got 90 pace in. And why it's important is because most cams are going to drive forward with the ball 99 sprint speed. If you're already far behind to catch up to him, you need to have the sprint speed. That's why center mid sprint speed is imperative. But he's still a good card. And Anchor, you probably get the job done. I'll definitely go with a shadow. Right back, you've got two options. You go with Manafa. Or you can go with the upgraded Manafa. Or you can just go ahead and get Quadrado. 
Gold Quadrado gets the job done. You don't have to worry about him. Um, now, for the centre-back duo, just trust me on this. Um, I, this is my opinion. I'm going to get... Gonna, it's going to be debatable. It's not debatable for me, but debatable for the entire community. Best centre-back duo in the game. Gold cards. Best centre-back duo gold cards. And yes, that does mean that I'm placing them higher above Kimpembe and um, Marquinhos. I would definitely say this is a, definitely the best centre-back duo in the game. And yes, you can quote me on that. And just watch it a couple of months' time when everyone starts using walk around at like centre-back. Don't start blaming me um, when that does happen. Uh, Edison, um, he's not the best of goalkeepers. Goalkeepers this year are 50-50. They're a bit meh. Sometimes they're good. Other times they're terrible. So you don't really know what to do when it comes to goalkeepers. I just go with the savoured feet trait. But obviously De Gea has been nerfed. I used, De Gea was the best Premier League goalkeeper last year in my opinion. But Edison or Allison, either one is fine. Um, if you're going to put um, Allison here, you just you can just basically move these things around. But the problem is, none of the goalkeepers are good. So that is basically the team. It's about 500k. I'll show you a quick link over here on Footbin. Well, look how many tabs I've opened. Apparently everyone always... Gets crazy, but um, multitasking nil is back in action. But anyway, look, this is a team, 100 chemistry. Um, all you got to do is just got to get a manager. And of course, you want to get a Premier League manager here. And if you want to get Cadrado on chemistry, this is a quick tip. So if, you look, if you're ever looking for, um, for like, you're ever wondering, okay, you know what, how do I do this? Basically, what you want to do is you want to look for the player. So I got one player off chemistry here, and he is from where? He's from Colombia. So we're going to go here. And we're going to go and search for Colombia. This is how I do it, okay? we got a Colombian manager. And because we have Juan Bissaka and Walker off chemistry, you do it like that. And bam. Now, Marnie, Juan Bissaka, and Walker got seven chemistry. He's got thing. Now, that's perfect. If you're, re if you're really upset and you're distraught that I'm using 99 chemistry, just put Manafa there. There you go. That's the price done. And if you really want to save costs, you can get like Regalon here instead of Robertson because Robertson is a bit expensive for what he is. You can go ahead and get Regalon and save some coins over there. So how does it look in terms of in-game now? In fact, let me just show you my squad because I'm actually going to update it now while I speak. Where is Elendil? Here it is. Um, so as you can see here, um, you um, I get 100 chemistry with this one. So what I would say is... The way that I'll do it in game is so we're actually gonna do this together now. In my 4-3-3, my defensive 4-3-3, I'm gonna put Sun there uh, just because he plays a drop between defender role, and I'd rather have it be Sun than anyone else. Okay. Then in centre back, I always play Wampasak on the left and Walk on the right. Just my personal preference. Okay. For the 4-2-3-1, Sun goes striker. He goes behind Keen and Mane right now. You can put if you want there, but. Tecatito is just so good. Five star, five star. So why would you want him anywhere else? You want him in camp. And Sun's a better striker. And plus, he's got better agility and balance. He's better to maneuver the ball against against your opponent's CDMs. Um, something like that. Uh, you can, of course, just go on balance if you want to. But that is the back line. Again, when beside goes on our left. Um, if you are playing the 4-1-2-1-2 now, I'll be honest. I'm not a big fan of the 4-1-2-1-2. Uh, I, just for my play style, I want to say this. It's not my style but look this is the way that i would line it up and i'll put mane just you know it's so funny how this is still glitched you know they still haven't fixed this i don't know if anyone else get i mean everyone knows this right but it's an issue where you switch players it's still a glitch. but yeah mane on get forward that's it you get the job done if you are going to be using the 352 or any form of that variation then you can go like this the 352 and all you'll do here is you'll move um the same system in fact what i'll probably just do is just move this guy here and put corne on that side that's it on either side, it's up to you. Um, and I put wan in the middle. And for the reason for that is because wan has got the better agility balance. And a 4-4-2, the main formation, the main way to go. Him and him together. Mane and Key on the wings. Onyenka Yen and Uribe in the middle. And that is, of course, the team. And I'm going to see I'm actually saving this now. This will be the team that I'm using this weekend league. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. That is a 500k team. Um, and this one... I can guarantee you. This this is one that I would say that I've used this team and it's going to be my team going forward. Um, and, I'm, and I've kept, you know, players like Son, players like Onyanka, Wambasaka, uh, Walker, Cornet. Some of these guys are just so good. The only person that I'm 50 is Lorente. I used to have Lorente here and I, have, I used to have Mr. Capito on right back. That's the way that I had it. 
for me. I preferred it this way, and I used to play, and we probably wondering what the hell is going on in striker. I used to put Jimenez on, and I used to sub Jimenez off. That's how I was running the team before. Lorente is definitely a card that I very much miss. The best gold card center mid in the game, in my opinion. I just, I need to get him back into the team. But as it stands, I can't really find a solution because you don't get the chemistry to my right winger to take a Tito. So now I'm basically stuck. If you want, you can also use Cancelo here. But otherwise, Quadrado is a really, really good option. Or you can go simply with Manaf. Of course, I would go with Quadrado any day of the week. But let's say, for example, if chemistry was a really big thing for you, you could just go Manafa. But again, I would say go with Quadrado, save the money, get some guy in eight chemistries better than Manafa. And you pretty much got the job done. But anyway, guys, that is, of course, the Meta 500k team. Hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, like usual, I'll catch you next time. Peace out, guys.